In this video, we will be demonstrating the deflections of beams and cantilevers kit, the ES4, from the engineering science range of teaching equipment from Tech Equipment. The ES4 kit helps you understand the factors that affect deflection in beams under load and their importance to scientists and engineers. But what are beams, cantilevers and deflection? A beam is a type of structure that's purpose is to support a load. A cantilever is simply a particular application of a beam you will see. In the real world, a structure like a bridge needs to be strong enough to support the load placed upon it, like cars or people, and not break. But it also has to be stable to function, so no wobbles. This is deflection. By using the deflection of a beam and cantilever kit, the ES4, you will perform the five experiments and learn that there are five main factors that affect how much a beam will deflect. The load, the material of the beam, the beam cross-section dimensions, the type of support and its fixing conditions, and the span or length of the beam. Looking at the apparatus now, the kit comes in a plastic box which contains all the parts needed to perform the experiments. We have the weights and the weight hangers, dial indicator, dial caliper gauge, aluminium, brass and steel beams, and fixing blocks. Experiment 1, beam load, shows the relationship between load and deflections for a beam. After measuring the beam size with the dial caliper gauge, Adjust the dial indicator and wire stirrup along to the middle of the beam at 180 millimeters. Set and zero the dial indicator and then add the weights in increments of 10 grams. After each 10 grams, tap the work panel to reduce the effect of friction, then repeat this process until 500 grams have been added. Now you can calculate and plot the deflection against load. Experiment two. Beam materials. Young's modulus affects deflection. After measuring the dimensions of the beam, rest the aluminium bar across the supports. Adjust the dial indicator and wire stirrup along to the middle of the beam at 180 millimeters. Set and zero the dial indicator, then add the weight hanger with 49 weights or 500 grams. Tap the work panel to reduce the effect of friction and repeat this with the brass and steel beams and perform the necessary calculations. Experiment 3, beam dimensions, shows how beam dimensions affect deflection. Experiment 4, beam support, to find the K value for fixed, simple and proper cantilever beams. Experiment 5, beam length shows the relationship between beam length and deflection. After measuring the beam dimensions with the dial caliper gauge and calculating the I value for the beam, adjust the dial indicator and wire stirrup along the end of the beam at 250 millimeters. Set and zero the dial indicator and then add the weight hanger with 49 weights or 500 grams. Tap the work panel to reduce the effect of friction. Repeat this process for the different distances at 230, 210, 190, 170 and 150 millimetres. Remember to zero the dial indicator after each move. video so why not check out our other engineering science videos or find out more about the deflections of beam and cantilever kit the ES4 with the links below. If you found this video useful remember to like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.